good morning welcome to my video welcome to my channel um i want to show you guys a little quick project sorry it's kind of windy out here this morning it's a beautiful saturday morning though and i'm really excited about gardening today but i want to show you a quick little project that you can do for not very much money and make yourself a little tower to plant in um, if you don't have a lot of garden space or even if you do this is still a fun project um, I purchased, I actually purchased 13 of these from Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. Um, and we're going to prepare them uh, so they won't blow over and they'll give you a nice place to garden. So what I have is a two and an eighth inch hole saw. You'll need that. Um, like I said, I got 13 of these and I don't know. It just depends on how tall you want your tower so as to how many you buy. So you'll have to decide that. But I do. I have a 2 and an eighth inch hole saw uh, drill. And that's the first things you need to get started. So I'm going to get started on these and I'm going to drill them and show you what I'm doing here. two at a time it just depends on your drill but that's what I'm doing and I'm down to the last two all right so you can see I have a hole all the way through them and the whole size will depend on the size of your t-post that you're going to thread through here because that's what will hold these and keep them from blowing over so my t-post will work with the two and an eighth inch hole now there's one more thing that you will need to get started and that is a plastic flower pot well you don't have to but i do not want mine sitting all the way down on the ground because it's harder to plant that way so i'm going to turn a plastic flower pot upside down um, it's just one that I had that's kind of old and I'm going to drill a hole in it so turn it upside down on the t-post so these little containers can sit on top of this doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm gonna paint it um, I'm also gonna paint my t-post you don't have to that's a step that I'm just doing that's my preference but that is unnecessary it'll still work even if you don't so I'm gonna drill this flower pot Okay, for this one, it's a little tougher. I'm going to put a pilot hole in the middle of it first uh, so that my other drill bit will stay in place when I put it on there. So, I had to switch drill bits. So, I'm going to put this one back in. And we'll go back to work. Okay, you can see we have the hole in the bottom of the pot. Next thing we'll need, if you want to paint uh, your... If you want to paint your pot and your uh, tea post my t-post is an older t-post and it's kind of icky looking but i tend to like to paint my t-post black anyway before i start a project so i'm gonna go grab some spray paint and i'll be right back okay as i said this is just personal preference that i'm painting my t-post and the flower pot so you do whichever you want but i'm gonna paint this here i may end up spraying myself because it's so windy out today but I want to get this project done and in the ground. Alright so the paint on my t-post is dried and the next thing we're doing in here is putting it in the ground with a t-post driver okay we're back with the flower pot that we painted to put on the bottom and this is actually going to keep our little trays off the ground so we're going to thread that onto the t-post and let it sit secure 
literally on the ground, kind of level it. Now, I want to tell you guys, um, I showed you how I drilled these holes that fit over the T-posts, but I did not notice when I did that that the holes for drainage were not punched out. So I went ahead and did those off camera and I just used my drill and did several of them at a time. It only took a few seconds, but I, that's really important that you be sure there's drainage holes in there. It's gonna allow the water to drain, but it's also gonna water the little pot below it. So this is a real easy system for self uh, watering. You're just gonna water the top one and then everything else is gonna flow down underneath. So. And these, each one kind of snaps to the one below it to hold it in place. I'll be interested to know, I didn't measure, I just bought some of these, so I don't know how many is gonna fit on here. But I purchased 13, like I said. This is going to be a fun little planter. You could put herbs in here. You could put flowers in here. Um, I'm going to put strawberries in a few, and that'll be fun. I actually have some strawberries that I need to move, so I'm just going to stick them in here for this summer and see how they do. Well, we're getting really close. Um, and, of course, it'll depend on how tall your tea post is so 12 would have done it I have 13 um, I might go ahead and use the 13th one it covers the top of the tea post so that's pretty tall and that gives us a lot of planting room now I'm gonna go get the soil and we'll fill it with soil okay we're gonna fill it with soil I actually have a two cup measuring cup here so that I can tell you about how much soil one of these is going to take um, it's going to be several cups so it does take quite a bit of soil to fill one up it's hard to see in the top one so I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down as I get closer to the end, I'll get back with you. Okay, here we are, take two. We had a little bit of a problem, and so I want to address it so you can take care of it ahead of time and you don't have a problem. Um, these little tubs, when we drilled the hole in them, most of you probably know if you've used T-Post before that they're triangle shaped. So when we drill a round hole, that left a place for the dirt to wash out. So we have we went ahead and put a PVC pipe over the T-post um, to keep that from having such a big gap in there. So now we've got the pot on the bottom and we're going to go back to stacking these. So I wanted to let you know so that you could go ahead and get your PVC pipe uh, to put on your post so you wouldn't have that problem. But now all of our dirt won't fly through. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack these on. We used a two and an eighth inch hole saw when we cut these, and I have a two inch PVC pipe. So that's gonna be so much better now. Um, as with most projects, I had paper in here. Uh, as with most projects, you run into a few things that don't work out like you thought. So um, I had actually seen this done before and nobody mentioned that that might be a problem for the dirt to come through there. So now we don't have that issue. I had filled some of these with dirt and uh, I suggest you not fill them with dirt before you put them in. I wasn't going to, but we had to take them off to fix that. So. Um, hard to put them on here. Your dirt falls out, your dirt gets in your hair and your face. So now we're stacking these up real nice. Uh, the PVC pipe 
does show a little bit. It won't show when you get all the dirt in, though. Because the dirt will cover it up. And these just snap together. And I think this is going to end up being just the right height to cover. up the white on top so I'm gonna get my dirt and finish filling these all right I've got the tower filled it took about two and a half bags of 25 quarts of bags of potting soil to fill this now once I moisten this down um, the dirt will go down a little bit and I'll probably add some to it a little bit but for the most part we're full um, so I'm going to do that now and then we'll work on planting it. I've got a couple of really cold temperatures coming, uh, so for anything flowers and annuals and things like that, I'll have to wait. But um, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Thanks.